Hi friends, Tammy Beard with Stampin' Savvy. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I want to show you how to make this adorable pop-up card right here. So fun and three-dimensional. It is easy to make. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that are guaranteed to work every time and you are going to love making this. We're going to feature the new you're a peach sweet. Now our sweet collections are coordinating products that make paper crafting easy for you. So we're gonna be using the Sweet as a Peach photopolymer stamp set along with the You're a Peach designer series paper. Now I'm going to be using my June sweet sampler kit. This is a kit that I put together every month that features the sweet showcase of the month. And you get coordinating cardstock. In this month's kit, you get five different colors, 12 sheets of cardstock. You get a quarter pack of the designer series paper in a six by 12 size, two different ribbons, some embellishments, lots of um, punched and die cut pieces for the card projects that I share, as well as the PDF tutorials. So this is one of the five that you would be making if you order the kit. Pre-order is June um, 8th through 14th, so it ends on Monday the 14th. So let me give you just a quick peek at this designer paper because it is absolutely gorgeous. So it's watercolored images. It's got some blossoms as well as the peaches. And the colors are Calypso Coral with Petal Pink, Pear Pizzazz, Old Olive. There's some Mango Melody in there. Looks like maybe a little bit even of Mary Merlot. But it's double-sided, so that's that. And then you get some minis back there. And then we bring in the balmy blue, really makes that pop. You've got that pretty pretty uh, dot pattern on the back. Makes me think of bubble wrap. <laughs> that completely has nothing to do with peaches, so it gives you some variety. Beautiful Calypso coral watercolored stripes. This is just blossoms. There's a blue and white stripe. That's the balmy blue. Again, another peach pattern some polka dots, and then some more of a floral pattern with some old olive and pear pizzazz for this one. So lots of variety in the designer paper pack. Okay, the colors for this card that we're going to be using are balmy blue and calypso coral, petal pink, and pear pizzazz. Now these all happen to be from the Subtles collection. So our collections have a 10% bundle savings and how it works out with the Subtles collection is you're basically paying for nine stamp pads and you get the 10th one free. So it's a great value. So let's go ahead and bring in your paper trimmer and you're gonna want one sheet of cardstock. We're gonna be using the balmy blue. I'm gonna basically duplicate this card right here. But the fun thing is with the designer paper is because it's double-sided, all of the patterns are designed to coordinate with each other. So you can mix and match and pick your favorites. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to cut it on the short side, the eight and a half, inch side at four and a quarter. So you're just gonna cut that in half. Then you're going to turn it on the long side and we're going to score it. So I'm gonna move my cutting blade out of the way and it's gonna score at five and a half. You're gonna score it at six and a half, at nine and a half, and at 10 and a half. I'm gonna set that one aside. We're gonna come in with the other half of that cardstock sheet, and we're going to cut it in half at five and a half inches. And this is the size that you need for card number one. So you can set this aside. If you're getting the kit, you can set that aside to make a card number one. Okay, now go ahead and turn this on the short side and we're going to cut this at three inches. So this piece, that's an extra. We don't need that and save that for another project. So this is three inches by five and a half inches. Turn it on the long side 
and you're going to score it at a half an inch and at one and a half inches, which just happens to be that edge right there. Okay, and that is our cardstock pieces. Okay, then you're gonna pick out your patterns for the designer series paper, and you're going to want one piece that is four and one eighth inch wide by six inches high. So if you're using the kit, they come six by 12, so you can just basically cut a four and one eighth inch piece off of one of your sheets. You're gonna turn it on the long side, and you're going to score this, I'm sorry, cut this at two and seven eighths. You're going to cut this piece at two and three eighths. And that leaves you a three quarter inch piece left over. So we're gonna be using all three of these. And then for your second pattern, and this is going to be for the front here, this one is two and seven eighths inch wide by three and seven eighths inch high. Okay, now we're gonna start with the card base and you're gonna wanna come in with your bone folder. And let's go ahead and turn it this way. And we're going to be folding under. So this is the five and a half inch. Go ahead and give that a burnish. This is the six and a half inch. And then we've got the nine and a half. And we've got the 10 and a half. So this is how it basically comes together, just like that. But I'm gonna show you a trick so that this will come out straight and it's really easy to adhere. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to adhere our designer series paper. So when this card goes into the envelope, it folds forward like this. So that's the five and a half inch score line. This is the six and a half. So it sits like this, but it folds forward like this. So the largest piece, I put glue on the back, the largest piece is gonna go in this section right here. Just like this. That three quarter inch piece is going to go here in the middle. Just like that. And then we're gonna open this up and then this is going to go along the top edge right here. Basically, you got just even margins on all three of those. So it's about 16th of an inch on all three sides. So again, when this comes together, it's going to be like that. Okay, now what you're going to do is we're going to push this down so that we're on the six and a half inch fold line. There's the five and a half. We're at the six and a half right here. We're gonna fold that half inch facing up and you're gonna put glue right on that. Hold this down. You're gonna fold that back and I'm holding this down and you're going to go ahead and adhere that. Okay, so again, that's your six and a half inch fold line right here and I have it flat. And then you just put your glue and then you fold that under. And I'm just giving it, giving about 10 seconds here so we make sure we get a good bond. And then there you go. And that's how you do it so that it will always be straight, super easy to adhere and it will now fold nicely to be able to go into your envelope. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put on that front layer. So let's bring this one in, and again, we're gonna fold back, and we're gonna fold back, and let's go ahead and we're doing both of folding these back, and this is how it's gonna go like this. It's going to sit kind of like this. Now what is important about this is it's got to go forward, so we have to be 
careful that we position this no farther than the top of the card so that it will fit in your envelope so that when it's closed it it's like this and then when it is you can see it here a little bit better so when it's closed it doesn't go past that top and then when it it's opened it's actually adhered down here so I'm going to show you how to do that okay so this is our one and a half inch score line. There's our half inch right here. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to put that one and a half inch at the top and we're going to go ahead and put our glue here and we're gonna go ahead and adhere that. And you want it centered left to right and it's just going to go just like that. So when you fold it, it's going to be like that. Now it's actually going to be pulled forward. So you're not going to see it other than for the purpose of aligning it straight at this point. Okay. Then push it forward so that you're at the five and a half inch score line. So there's the six and a half right here. So you want to see that gap right there. Go ahead and open that up. We're gonna put some glue down here at the bottom. And then I like to put just a little bit here at the top. That way you don't have to kind of gauge how far up to put the glue. Just do it at the bottom there. And then here, and then go ahead and close that. Now I like to use the glue because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room so that if you needed to kind of straighten it a little bit, you can do that. But there you go. And there is your pop-up. Again, nice and straight. You don't have to worry about trying to align it and you'll always know that it's gonna fit into your envelope. Okay, so now it's just really a matter of us finishing the decorating. So we're gonna be using that blue stripe. I'm gonna go ahead and hear this centered right here. Just like that. Okay, then I've got, I went ahead and I have stamped the, I've used the the leaf branch and I stamped that in the um, pear pizzazz. This one I did in old olive. So you can kind of see the difference. The old olive is darker, same um, shade, but it's just a darker. So let's go ahead and just put a little bit of glue or just basically, this is just the decoration and it's going to be kind of hanging from the top here and again you can kind of fold that forward so that you can get it nice and flat to be able to get that adhered and then i have gone ahead and i've used this stamp right here and i've got three peaches now the fun thing about this stamp set is you can also do flowers so if you didn't want to do the peaches do the flowers and it's really pretty either way and what I did, and let me show you a fun way to do this so that you can get a, a multicolored peach. So let's bring it this in. I've got some basic white here. I've got the stamp and it does all three at one time. And then the coordinating die cuts all three at one time. Woohoo, time saver. Okay, go ahead and ink that up with the petal pink or whatever your lightest color is. Okay, then we're gonna come in with a sponge dauber. And we're gonna use the Calypso Coral. This would be your darker color. Go ahead and, and then I'm gonna go ahead and decide, you're gonna go ahead and just put that on the sides. I kinda of just choose one side. You could do both sides, however you wanna do it. And then you go ahead and stamp that it's a nice it's a large kind of flat area so i like to use the stamp and pierce mat it's one of my favorite tools that is not in the catalog <laughs> but we do offer them okay then you're going to come in with your coordinating die and again like i said it's a one piece so here's the trick do you see that point right there it is on the die really easy to line that up Run that through your die machine, and then you're gonna come out with three of your peaches. So this makes it really easy to 
do your multiple colors. It's not one stamp so that you can mix and match the colors. I love when they do that. Okay, then let's go ahead and we'll bring this one back in. Go ahead and put on our peaches here. You could put these up on dimensionals if you wanted to. I'm gonna pop my sentiment on dimensionals, so I didn't do that, but it works either way. And again, you can press that down so it'll sit flat just like that. Okay, if you have the kit and you've already made card number one, this is card number two, you have a 5 8 inch strip that was left over from card number one. We are gonna put that to use and we're going to put it right down here as kind of this little accent strip. You don't have to do this, just optional. And again, let's just lay that flat. It's gonna go right across there. Then I have the sentiment already stamped and punched. Now, part of the kit is the pre-punched pieces. Otherwise, you would go ahead and pick whatever sentiment you want. And I love these because they're mix and match. So you could do have a peachy day. Um, then you've got different variables. Hope your day is as sweet as a peach as the one that I chose. But you could do your as sweet as a peach. Um, Lots of different variables for thank yous, birthdays, and for just general occasions. Okay, so for this one, I am gonna pop this one up on a couple dimensionals. And it's just gonna go right across, whoops, it's gonna go right across the center here, just like that. All right, we're gonna come in, we're gonna use that flirty flamingo metallic ribbon really really pretty ribbon this is included with the kit so we're going to go ahead i've already done a little bow here with about six seven inches of ribbon i'm going to just come in with a mini glue dot and we're going to just put this right up here at the top and then last but not least i have our sentiment this is three quarters of an inch by three inches and i'm just going to pull this forward like this and it is just going to fit right on here and again you could do from the stamp set I chose happy birthday but you could do the thanks so much and this could be a really sweet um, thank you card as well so let's go ahead and bring this in and again it's just going to go right there in the middle centered and because you can go flat with it just press that down and there we go. There is your adorable, hope your day is as sweet as a peach birthday card. And then you could just press it down and then you could sign the back of it. And it is all ready to give. Is that not too fun? Really, really sweet and fun dimensional birthday card that's just kind of interactive. And like I said, so it sits up as well as fits in our medium envelope. So here's the envelope right here. And just so you can see, it's going to fit right in just like that. And then they open it up and it pops up for them to be able to display it. Absolutely adorable. Okay, so you're a peach sweet. I hope that if you are interested in the kit, the Sweet Sampler Kit for June pre-order ends on June 14th. Again, all the coordinating goodies are in the kit to offer you a lot of value so that you don't have to get full-size packages of the card stocks, of the ribbons, the embellishments. It's all included in one kit, along with the PDFs of five really fun cards that you are going to love making and that your friends and family are going to love receiving. Thanks so much for watching today. Leave me your comments and feedback. I do love to hear from you. See you soon. Bye-bye.